The day after Adam was born, they were ready to check us out of the hospital, send us home. His doctor heard a heart murmur. Then there were a lot of residents and people coming into the room. I whispered to my wife that this is not good. This is really not good. They performed an ultrasound exam and found that Adam had a congenital defect that wasn't detected during pregnancy. His tetralogy of Fallot, it's a hole between the two ventricles, among other things. With tetralogy, they call them blue babies because they don't get enough oxygen in their blood. So we brought Adam in every week to have his O2 measured. And one of the weeks, they said, oh, wow, his oxygen saturation is very low. In fact, we just had a cancellation in the OR this morning, and we'd like to do this now. So Adam had his first open heart surgery at two months old. It was heartbreaking. I mean, it was very stressful, very scary. He was in for about seven days and did wonderfully. With each year's ultrasound exam, we realized at two years of age, he was going to need another open heart surgery. And that was enough to carry him for the next 20 years. This exceeds all my wildest expectations for you know how this was going to play out throughout his life. It's really hard to put into words the emotions of seeing Adam today, 22. He's a bike messenger down in Boston doing engineering studies. I'm just so proud.